Welcome to Vacuum Wars, where we test and review all kinds of vacuum and robot vacuum cleaners. And today I wanted to show you two very good reasons to never buy a cheap vacuum cleaner. So the first of my two reasons is that if you could see what is happening in the air when you vacuum, you would recognize that cheap vacuum cleaners are basically disgusting. I used to think that fancy filtration systems on vacuums were only for people with allergies or pets, but the truth is good filtration on vacuums is for any Anyone who doesn't want to breathe in nearly everything they're supposed to be vacuuming up, and that's only slightly exaggerating. There are two aspects to a good filtration system. A HEPA filter, which can filter particles 0.3 microns and up, which covers most of the bad particles out there, which is why you can't see the fog particles in this particular test, because fog particles are about 5 microns, and these particular vacuums all have HEPA filters. In addition to a HEPA filter, the other thing that you need is a sealed system, which is more rare than you might think. This means that the vacuum needs to be engineered in such a way to keep all the air in the vacuum and not let it leak out before it gets to the HEPA filter to be filtered. Because if it leaks on the way to the HEPA filter, it's like not having a filter at all. And there are some cheap vacuums out there with HEPA filters that aren't sealed systems, which is pretty close to pointless. A couple things to note is that a sealed system slash HEPA filter combo costs money. You won't find these features in a vacuum under $100 or at least I've never seen one, and you really need to spend at least $150, but even then it's not a guarantee. And vacuum companies make it even harder to tell because they're all making some kind of filtration claim on the box these days, which sound good, but are often basically meaningless. So you really need to look for a claim on the box that it is in fact sealed, and thankfully these types of explicit claims are also becoming more common to see. We demonstrate this problem in a number of ways. I've already mentioned the 5 micron fog test, but another one is the dry particle test, which really shows the air quality problems cheap vacuums cause. Basically, we vacuum up a special kind of testing dust and then test the air with a particle counter afterwards. So I used brand new cheap vacuums that I had bought that day, and with just one tablespoon of dust, the air quality in our room went to dangerous levels and stayed at relatively high levels for over an hour, despite running three air purifiers at the same time. To be fair, these numbers weren't as severe with some of the others I bought. For example, the one I got for $100 was less bad, but the air was still considered to be unsafe by my particle counter. The one I got for $130 had a HEPA filter, and it did keep the air to safe levels, but the numbers were still bad enough that I would have failed it if I were doing a review on it. I did use another trick with a black light to show the same basic thing, but I think by now you're getting the point that this is not just an issue for people with allergies or pets. And if you think it's normal for a room to smell bad after you vacuum, you've probably been using cheap vacuums for too long. Moving on to the second reason never to buy a cheap vacuum. They can't be used on hard floors. This goes back to the invention of vacuum cleaners. They were originally only designed as carpet cleaners. You were expected to sweep hard floors like you had always done before that. It wasn't until much later that one of two features were added to make hard floor cleaning possible with vacuums. The first is a squeegee or some other kind of seal on the bottom, or failing that, the ability to shut off the brush roll like a switch of some kind. Most vacuums under about $100 don't have either of these features, and they just scatter debris everywhere if you try to vacuum hard floors. I have no idea why they don't make this more clear on the box, but only one vacuum under $100 had one of these two features of the ones I checked at my local store. So if you have hard floors and you want to use your vacuum to clean them, you're going to need to spend a bit more to do so. So I'll link some of my recommendations in the description, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars to keep up with all the latest tech in the vacuum and robot vacuum cleaner world. Thanks for watching.